Hello everyone. I haven't made a video in a while and it feels kind of awkward. I've been really busy with a lot of things. Uh, it feels like everyone is having a re-emergence since the pandemic and so a lot of friends have been coming into town and visiting and staying with us and it's been really wonderful but very busy socially. I have also applied for three jobs at this point. And this last one, I'm really, really hoping that I can secure it. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I'm up on Tumamak, by the way, just hiking down. And been reading a lot of books. And just trying to sort out this new chapter in my life, what my new goals are, how I'd like to move forward. I have been journaling a lot again uh, and that's always wonderful but not really using fountain pens like I was which is uh, kind of like oh no so much of this channel is about that so we'll see how to move forward with that I also got offered to go back to the school which I, I was a teacher at a school for a total of eight years and well technically seven and a half we started halfway through one of the school years anyways um and while that kind of job security is really tempting it just it wasn't a good fit for me uh i'm i love kids and i think i'm a good teacher and um I was really inspired by the kids, but the environment is just very exhausting in a way that doesn't feel healthy at all. And I want to be outside more. I want to be able to work outside, potentially. And actually, all of the jobs that I've applied for have been things that I've hoped I could do that. But I know I uh, the first one I didn't get the second one, I haven't heard anything yet, but I don't think they're going to be reviewing applications until the end of this month. And then the third one, which is the one I want the most, <laughs> I haven't heard anything back yet. And it's just, oh, I feel so much just anxiety, like waiting to be approved based on my worthiness as a person. It's just, it's a, you know, I'm sure a lot of you have been in similar positions trying to 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 pitch yourself pitch your skills and uh, sell yourself a little bit in hopes that you will be a candidate that is desirable for people and it's just a little bit stressful i have some new shoes that i'm going to be reviewing which is really exciting I like doing that kind of stuff. It's fun. So stay tuned for that. I'm spending a week with them before uh, walking in them every day for a week. And I'm wearing them right now, actually. Uh, and I'm hoping that they will be my summer shoe, the one size fits all sort of shoe that I can wear for absolutely everything I do. We'll see. I also have some new fitness goals that I'm kind of just in the process of working on. Uh, my first one is just to walk more. I want to walk a lot. <laughs> I haven't figured out how many steps in a day or in a week or miles or whatever. I just want to move more, whether that's hiking or jogging or walking the dogs, which we do every day anyways, because they need it. But I think that's a really approachable goal. I don't want to get too caught up in the fitness world because it can be very consuming. So I'm trying to pace myself. I'm also not really sure how I want to move forward with the Wancher Fountain Pen reviews because they are, uh, my, my reviews have always been just my candid thoughts and when Wancher first reached out to me, I was just so excited for the opportunity that I agreed to things that I wouldn't normally 
like if I have anything negative to say I have to share it with them first and it just and and then there's restrictions and parameters and I feel really uncomfortable because I don't know I don't know what to say and how to move forward and what to share uh, I don't have I don't know I just like the Caveco opportunity was really great because they just gave me carte blanche to do whatever I wanted to. they sent me some pens and then I just shared how I felt most of which was really positive and I think that could be the case with the Wancher pens as well it just because there are parameters I feel like I can't be completely honest with my audience and with myself and that's kind of been halting me a little bit. So here I am on Tumamak procrastinating. <laughs> I haven't made a Patreon. That's that's a really hard hill to climb because it's like I don't know, it's just difficult. I don't I still am struggling to figure out what I have to offer in return. So I don't know if I'll ever do it, but it's still something I think about. Here's a bit of really exciting news. A wonderful woman by the name of Susanna Conway has reached out and asked me to participate in her Journal Love Club, which is a year-long subscription-based journal club where you get journal prompts, uh, a community, stickers, videos, and guest speakers, and I'm going to be one of them. So that is just basically, I get to talk about journaling for about 20 minutes, which is something that I love to do. And it's going to be available through this subscription, as well as I think 11 other guests. It sounds like she has someone new speak every month, which is incredible. Uh, yeah, I really admire everything that she does and her, I don't know, her ambition. Is that the right? Yeah, that is the right word. She seems like a very ambitious woman and has, this seems like a very big project that she has taken on and I admire that she's doing it and it seems like she's doing it very successfully and I'm just excited to be a part of it in some way and would love more opportunities like that in the future, whether through her or with other people. I mean, we'll see how it goes, but I think it's gonna be great. I'll post all the links or just, I think it's just one link below in the description uh, so that you can check it out if that sounds like something you would be interested in. So yeah, and I think that's it. I just wanted to say hello and catch up. I have not neglected this channel. I, I love this channel. This channel has become my baby and I really enjoy the community here and I enjoy making videos. It's just, I've been busy. I've been kind of going through some some growing pains, some sorting out a new, a new, I mean, it's a new year. Well, we're like almost halfway through it at this point, but it feels very new still. And I have things that I want to do and share and accomplish and, I maybe have felt a little bit timid because they're not about fountain pens necessarily or journaling for that matter. Uh, so we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it. And I mean, that's what this channel has always been about. It's whatever I feel inspired by, that's what we're gonna pursue. So anyways, stay tuned. I'll have more pen videos coming. I have to do those launcher videos. It's gonna happen. I'll see you all soon.